What's up? Order in the court. You already know what time it is. It's your favorite attorney, attorney Ali Booker. Okay, I don't care how young I look. I'm very straight into the damn point. I'm known for being a conservative attorney, telling it like it is. So, you already know what happens. You write me, Booker at BookerLawFirm.com. I bring you to the court of my public opinion, and I'll tell you exactly how I think about your situation. At the end of the day, we can't call it legal advice because I don't represent you. But I promise you, I'm being straight up and forward and candid as I usually always am. And so when you real, you can't take the real out of real. Without further ado, let's get a crack of lack in order in the court. Can I get custody of my cousin from her uncle? My 13-year-old cousin has been bounced around our family since her dad died. I'm on the mom's side of the family, and she isn't in the picture. My cousin was living with her grandparents on the dad's side, and then very quickly was sent to live with her uncle on the dad's side. Her uncle is setting her, sending her to a troubled teen farm because he doesn't want to take care of her. Like, he doesn't want to take care of her. He likes the survivor's check she gets, and that's all it's about. There's a lot more details on why they're unfit. But is there anything I can do to get custody of my little cousin? Girl, no. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But you have a 13-year-old cousin that has been bounced around your family since her father died. Okay? Now, her father passed. Okay? And so she went on the father's side of the family. That What's the problem? How in the hell did that happen? Okay? Because we're going to go. Because if you're going to come ask me something then you need to be straight up with me about what's going on. So let's just say your family never did shit because how in the hell did she go to, with the father's side? Usually every case that I have, when the child goes with the father's side, it's because the father had custody of the child when the child when the child was alive. So it's natural that the children would go with his side because your side was never doing shit because the mama was never doing shit. And y'all didn't step up and do what the mama didn't do. Am I correct? Because to me, you say the mama is not in the picture and you're on the mom's side of the family. Baby, if the mama is not in the picture, you can't get your ass in the picture because you have to have a close and continuing relationship with the child. OK, and there has to be an open custody case. OK, there has to be an open custody case. And you have to have a close and continuing relationship with the child and be a grandparent of that child in order to step in, to be an intervener. Or you have to have possession of the child for six months or more. Anybody giving you this child? Now, if you feel like the child is in harm's way, then yes. I mean, anytime you feel like a child's in harm's way, you can call a CPS case in. But I don't think these parents are doing the wrong thing or this family's doing the wrong thing. Looks like your, your niece is a problem or cousin is a problem. Um, she was with her grandparents. The grandparents gave her to the, the uncle. That's, I'm going to assume, because she was too damn much to handle. The uncle is trying to put her in a damn teen farm because her ass is bad. She doesn't, she doesn't behave well. She has behavioral health issues. And it's not easy to get a child in a teen farm at all. It's not easy to get a child placed, okay, in a, in a residential treatment facility for behavior disorders. That's hard. OK, if he gets her in there, she needs to be in there. Her history, her mental illness history, whatever she has that you obviously don't know about is why she's there. Because, honey, the survivor's check is not enough money to pay for a regular like a boarding school. So he's not putting her in a boarding school. That means he's using insurance for this child to be housed. And if insurance is coming into play. That's because she has mental issues and a significant history of either self-harm and running away or something to where the insurance is willing to pay for her to go to a residential treatment facility. So you got it all wrong. And I will tell you and offer up to you that the apple does not fall too far from the tree. Her mother is not in her life. That's your side of the family. There's either a drug addiction there or an issue because what woman is not in her daughter's life let alone her teenage daughter to the point that the dad dies and the grandparents get the child she doesn't so i'm through talking to you i'm sorry you need to get some more information and know more about what's going on with this child because you don't get the right to argue with them because you don't like their parenting y'all haven't been around and i cannot stand people like you who come from the other side of the family when somebody dies and starts trying to talk about what's going on and how people are treating people and don't have the inside look or know what that family's been going through. And at the end of the day, that family knows that daughter. She's been in that family, okay? 
She ain't been in your family and y'all don't know her. So you need to shut your mouth. You need to do some more research. And if something is really wrong, then that's what CPS is for. But I guarantee you ain't going to get that far because ain't nothing wrong, child. Worry about your own children. That's what I'm going to order you to do. I'm going to order you to go we'll get you some business and worry about it. Okay? And I'm going to order you to get that raggedy-ass cousin of yours that's her mother that doesn't see her and have her exercise her visitation so that you can get your cousin every other week so you can see what the hell is going on. But you need to find out what's going on first. Get out of my courtroom. Next case. Think it's time I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Well, who gon' fight these cases for me? I call with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225.